Okay, so now you're growing up in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. but at what point you actually started getting mixed up in the streets? Uh, around 10 years old. Um, but before that, you know, um, like at, you know, seven, eight, you know, seven, eight, nine, whatever, uh, there was a, a, a dude in my area that, uh, where, where I live, uh, that I admire and I kept, you know, I just wanted, you know, I just kept going up and down the street, you know, you know, hollering at him, saying hello, whatever. And uh, that's when I started in this, you know, as far as that was my introduction to the streets. For, it was my introduction to, you know, taking care of pigeons on the roof, actually. <laughs> okay, and this guy was Caesar. Exactly. Okay, and this guy was a big-time dealer in Brooklyn. Yes, he was. Okay, and he actually took you under his wing. Yeah, he did. He, you know, he was reluctant to do that at first, but he seen that it was, you know, either you know do you know do this or you know I'm just gonna be, you know, a thorn on your side. <laughs> right, and I mean, initially you were just a lookout. Exactly. Yeah, I was on my. You know, at first I started off, like I said, you know, taking care. of, a pigeon coops for Caesar uh, on the roof. So I was uh, started off on the roof as a lookout. Then, you know, I went from, you know, riding my bike up and down the street uh, as a lookout. Uh, and uh, that's how I began with him. But I was I was so nosy and, you know, I was the type of guy, you know, I, I, I asked too many questions, I think. And, and Caesar... Uh, kind of um, took me under his wing. You know, he always gave me money to take home to, uh, you know, make sure uh, we ate and was closed. But don't don't get me wrong. My mother was a single woman that took very good care of us. You know, I, I wore the best clothes and we ate well and all that. It, it was just that being from the uh, heritage that I was from, the street was just in me, you know, I bleeded the streets, you know, even though I was, you know, I ate well every day. I just, it wasn't like we was on welfare and we needed to be taken care of. It was just that that was in my blood. The streets was in my blood. Okay. And back then it was heroin? No, actually, no. Uh, uh, see, okay. Caesar, he, you know, he dabbled in both her heroin and cocaine okay and actually i think he did did actually did some weed as well but um all all three you know uh uh all three were in, in his uh uh, uh well, i want to say what he did okay you know he he dabbled in everything in in the streets you know from uh you know prostitution you know to gambling to you know uh um, long sharking to drugs. Okay, so you went from being a lookout at eight, nine years old, and then did you start selling hand to hand? And no, I never sold. There? Okay, no, no, no. At okay, around ten years old, I uh, he promoted me to. You know, he had this building that had his counting rooms, his hookup rooms, and all that. So I graduated at. I don't know how you want to put it, you know, from going to that, you know, I, I, you know, I started seeing, I started seeing them M's, man, when I was like 10 years old. Okay. We talking about walking through buildings and, and seeing, you know, the situation, you know, the naked women, whatever in the, in the counting rooms and the hookup rooms. I started seeing that when I was 10 years old. Okay, I saw my first, like I said, I saw my first M when when, when I had to be about nine, ten years old. Okay, we he had multiple counting rooms, he had multiple, you know, hookup rooms. You know, he was some per, he was a person that I looked up. You know, I looked up as my mentor. You know, he he always like when he when he saw me. You know, I always hung out when he came to the hood or whatever. 
he, you know, actually I sat down with his family and ate on Sundays. You know, he, he was a Puerto Rican person. And, you know, I would like to say his name, but his family is still out there. And and this is, you know, we talking about some cartel type of motherfuckers. OK. All right. And Caesar, I ate with their family. OK. So he really, you know, he 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 took me under his wing as like a, a family member. Got it. 